Hello everyone, this is a follow-up video to my original video regarding the SciTech Logitech panels and the USB powering down or your display not staying lit. Um, if you have the most current drivers installed for both the operating system and your simulator already on your computer and your devices are still powering themselves down and the first video did not help you, this may solve your problem. Go, we're taking it one step further here. So the first thing you want to do is all your device and all your drivers are updated. I know it sounds corny, but the iobit website has what's called Drive Booster 7. It actually does a pretty thorough job of updating your drivers on your system. It's free. You can pay for a pro version. Um, I use it, uh, and it, it does a pretty decent job of keeping you up. They have a pretty, de pretty decent-sized database that they pull from. We'll start there. Make sure all your drivers are current. The first video, you went through it, you did what I, in the registry editing, and that still didn't solve your problem. So here we are. Go to the start menu, go to settings, go to system, go to power and sleep. Over to the right, under related settings, it says additional power settings. Click there. This is going to bring up your current power plan that you have set for your system. Now, if you were to change this in the future, you're going to have to redo what we are going to discuss. But right now, let's say that you're on balanced, which that's where my system is at. Hit change plan settings. And then you want to go down to where it says change advanced power settings. Click there. It's going to bring up a power options window. About the fifth one down, it'll say USB settings. Hit the plus sign. It'll all bring up a sub tab called USB Selective Suspend Setting. Hit the plus tab again, and your setting, it'll, it'll say enabled or disabled. If it says enabled, disable it. That will override what you've got in the registry editor by changing the, the one to a zero, like we did in the first video. This will override it based on your power plan. So disable that and see if that does not solve your problem. If that does not solve the issue, we want to go down to the search menu and type in device manager, and you won't get through the word manager until it'll populate right, and you, right here, and you click on it. It's gonna bring up all the devices that your computer entails. You want to go all the way to the bottom where it says Universal Serial Bus Controller and expand that. From here, anything that says Hub or Root Hub, you want to highlight it, right click, go to Properties, go over to Power Management, which is the fifth tab, and uncheck the box that says Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You're effectively turning off the Energy Star power management settings that are built into Windows and your computer. I don't know that anybody is going to go broke after power for powering a USB port. So turn that off. And the reason why you want to do this is that our panels, the SciTech and Logitech panels, sit idle for a certain period of time while we're flying or we're setting up or we're taxiing. We're not constantly interacting with these panels. So Windows believes that it's inactive and powers it down. And that's why you will lose the screen or some of your panels will not function. You'll have to unplug them, plug them back in. It reactivates that USB hub or that port and provides power to it one more time. So go through anything that says hub or root hub and go into power management, uncheck the box that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and see if this doesn't solve your problem. I hope it does. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, possibly a subscribe, a thumbs up would be great. And take care of yourselves and each other. We'll see you in the next video.